This week I am breaking down and trying Rebel Wilson's diet and workout plan. Unlike a lot of celebrities in Hollywood that kind of keep their diet and workout plan under wraps and just magically appear in media showing a slimmer frame, some new photos, they don't really tell you what they did. And then people just speculate. Rebel Wilson has been very open and honest in sharing and documenting her weight loss journey and her journey to health. With all that being said, I did a little bit more research on my end and if you guys know, you know. We've got a notebook, I wrote everything down, and I'm gonna share it with you. She's been following the Mare Method. Basically, the Mare Method is just a diet plan that focuses on improving gut health, starting kind of from the inside out. Here is a list of foods that you are allowed to have. And here's a list of foods that you are not allowed to have. I know what you're thinking, wow, that doesn't sound too bad. But wait, there are in fact some diet rules. Rule number one, no snacking. This is basically used as a way to just prevent insulin spikes throughout the day. Rule number two, you must eat breakfast. Rule number three, you have to completely eliminate caffeine from your diet and then you're supposed to eliminate dairy, sugar, gluten, and processed foods. Rule number four, absolutely no distractions while you're eating your meals. This means that you can't use your phone, you can't watch TV, you can't read a book. It's also highly encouraged that you don't even talk or socialize while you're eating. And last but not least, and probably the weirdest rule of them all, is rule number five. You have to chew every single bite at least 40 to 60 times before you swallow. So not only am I going to be focused on my meal without being distracted, I will also simultaneously be counting every single chew for the next week, for three meals a day. Help me. In order to eat like Rebel Wilson for the week, I need to restock my fridge and fill it with all the things that she would eat following her diet. So let's go to the grocery store. Okay, so I got just a couple of things from Publix. Um, I like to get my like meats and things usually from Publix or Harris Teeter. So I'm gonna run in Trader Joe's, pick up a few more things, and then the grocery shopping will be finished. All right, groceries are secured. Just finished my little Trader Joe's run. Um, time to head home and show you guys all of the groceries that I got. Do a little haul for you. And then it's 12 o'clock right now, so I'm definitely thinking once I get home and unload the groceries, it's time to make something for lunch. I wanna show you guys really quickly what I got. Um, some organic spinach and some romaine hearts, some celery, I got two avocados. Um, berries were okay on like the list of approved foods or whatever, so I just went for some blueberries. I feel like those are the healthiest option. I also picked up some pomegranate seeds. They had these at Trader Joe's like in the little container already so I just decided to pick up some of these and I have not had pomegranate seeds in forever apples were also on the list of things that you could have so I just got these like giant honey crisp apples from Publix honey crisp apples are the bomb some goat cheese some salmon I got broccoli florets I grabbed some chickpeas some risotto bananas I got vine ripe tomatoes surprisingly citrus fruits were on the list so I just decided to go for something simple and grab these like halo clementines and then I just got a large pack of chicken breasts as well This is the final product of the salad. I've got spinach, romaine, apples, onions, walnuts, goat cheese, and then chicken. And I'm gonna top it off with some oil and vinegar because that is the dressing I'm allowed to have. So another thing that's really important when eating these meals, like how Rebel Wilson did in her weight loss journey, is that I'm not supposed to use my phone. I can't read, I can't talk to anybody. I just have to like sit in silence and eat my meal, which is weird because I usually am always on my phone when I'm eating. So the goal is to like, be in tune with your meal to focus on your meal i also can't have anything to drink with my meal i can drink before and after a meal but not during so i have no water to go along with my meal which is weird because i also normally am like chugging water as i'm eating so i'm gonna eat this in silence put it on a time lapse and i will see you after Any 
anyways, now that I'm done with that, I had to have a call. I had a call with um, like a financial counselor and everything. And that was shortly after my lunch. And I'm glad it was after my lunch because I wouldn't be allowed to take the phone call during lunch because I can't use my phone while I'm eating. <laughs> This is ridiculous. All of my meals for the next week are going to be very interesting because I will just have to be in silence and just focusing on my food, which is strange. It will be really interesting at work too because we have break rooms, we have people. So I'll just have to go isolate myself somewhere. Just eating, no phone, nothing, just vibes. That is the update for lunch. I'm just going to um, hang out. I have a couple other things that I have to do and probably in like an hour or so, I'm gonna go on a walk because it's actually super nice outside. I think it's like mid sixties right now. Definitely gonna go for a walk before the day is over, but I'm just gonna get some stuff done now and I'll see you guys later. Good morning. I'm extremely tired this morning. The mayor method. Can't have any caffeine. So, um, that's good for me. And by good for me, I mean not good for me because, really? Gotta pick the loud toy right now? Can you not? Anyways. So last night, me and this little, this little one, we were playing a little too hard and she scratched me, kind of good or kind of bad, whatever, whichever way you look at it. So ignore those on my arm. You see that? Um, just a vicious cat. Just kidding. She's really sweet. We just were playing really hard. I need to go get this workout over with because I'm two seconds to not wanting to do it. So let's go get it done. I just made some oatmeal. I mashed a banana into it so it would be like there in every single bite. Added some almond butter and then to the oatmeal I also added cinnamon and sugar-free vanilla. So I'm hoping it tastes good and I'm gonna go eat it off camera because it's not like I'm really supposed to be using technology while I'm eating anyways. What helped me be the most successful this week was just meal prepping. And this is something I do in my normal day-to-day -day life as well. Just committing a couple hours before you go to work or at the start of your week or at the end of the day and just make yourself some healthy go-to meals that you're actually going to enjoy. So make sure it's foods that you like. That way you're not eating boring chicken, rice, and broccoli five days a week. A lot of my meals were very heavily protein-based and then I did some kind of vegetable or carbohydrate with them as well. I would also do like little snack plates where I'd have like nuts, some kind of protein like turkey breast a fruit and some vegetables and I just ended up eating that as well all right so I work for the next two days straight so I wanted to make sure that I had my lunch and dinner already prepared which is why I like to meal prep so I'm gonna show you guys what I make and honestly she's a chef she's just spicing it up trying something new I'm very excited to show you what I've made. So I made everything that was Rebel Wilson Diet and Mayor Method approved. So this is what we've got. That chicken salad I had on the first day with goat cheese, walnuts, avocado, and apple is what I made again for like lunch tomorrow because honestly that salad was bomb. Then I made a chicken risotto with a little bit of Parmesan and spinach. This is almost like a Florentine kind of, but I decided to use salmon instead of chicken. So it has like sauteed spinach and tomato, onion and garlic. And then I used goat cheese as the sauce with just a small amount of Parmesan and I tasted it you guys it is incredible and then lastly I just did a salmon and veggie dish I did roasted chickpeas and roasted broccoli with some salmon all right this is what I'm having for dinner I just used some leftover risotto with a little bit of Parmesan I did broccoli and some chicken and it looks really good and yeah I can't wait to eat this in silence the days this week that i had work it actually wasn't as complicated as i thought it was going to be to eat by myself i ended up finding a picnic bench outside and just kind of enjoyed the weather and just being by myself for my entire lunch break and then on my days off i made sure that i incorporated exercise some way somehow so luckily for me where i live the weather is starting to get warm and springtime is here so i was able to go on an outdoor walk every single day i made sure that was part of my goal for the entire week was to walk outside once a day and then when i wasn't doing my outdoor walks and i just wanted to do something else i definitely headed downstairs to my apartment gym and did hit or strength training which really hyped me up and made me feel so much better this entire week 
I just finished my strength training. I ended up doing 30 minutes of cardio and then 30 minutes of strength training, which I'm really glad that I did because I feel really good and it was nice to get like a full hour workout in. I'm just so happy that my apartment gym is slowly opening back up. They're still doing like not 100% capacity and they still ask you to wear your mask if there's other people in there. It's just so nice to be able to use like equipment again and to like be out of my room because I can only do so many like workouts with my dumbbells and my little yoga mat. So I was very excited to go back today after like a year plus of not going. I'm gonna go jump in the shower really quickly and then when I come out, I think I'm gonna make some breakfast because I'm feeling a little hungry. Okay, so this is breakfast. I have two scrambled eggs, half an avocado with everything but the bagel seasoning and a little clementine or tangerine. I still don't remember what I bought at the store. I'm gonna eat this off camera because I think you guys have the idea now that I'm thoroughly chewing my food. I'm sitting in silence. I don't have my phone. I don't have the TV on, no distractions. So I'm gonna go enjoy my breakfast in peace and quiet. I can't believe I'm saying this, but this past week actually went very well. Whatever Rebel Wilson is doing actually seems like a very sustainable and realistic way to diet or to just kind of eat better and be the healthier version of yourself. It wasn't overly restrictive, which is something that I highly commend Rebel Wilson for. Of course, it does ask you to kind of eliminate your sugar and your gluten and your caffeine intake. However, I feel most of the time, if you're trying to be successful with weight loss or just feeling healthier, I mean, at some degree, you're going to want to cut out a little bit of sugar or a little bit of gluten from your diet. As we know, so many foods are fine in moderation. However, I don't think anyone really benefited from eating like tons and tons of sugar and processed food every single day all of the time in order to help lose weight or to be the healthiest versions of themselves. I weighed myself on the last day after following Rebel's diet for a full week and I ended up losing three pounds. Nothing crazy, but I did overall feel really good this entire week while following the diet. I also incorporated working out almost every single day, which is something I hadn't been doing, which definitely helped me feel better. This week really opened up my eyes to how important it is to just kind of be present and focus on your meal, especially if you have a hard time with like overeating or binge eating or you're just someone on that just because your plate is full you feel the need to like eat everything on it while it sounds crazy to have to chew every single bite 40 to 60 times it was really interesting to slow down my meals to focus on them and to just be present while i'm eating i'm actually pretty pleased with how everything went in this past week and i think what rebel wilson is doing is amazing and it seems to be working for her and she's happy and it's it's going great so that's all that really matters if you made it this far in the video thank you so much for watching let me know which celebrity diet i should try next by leaving a comment down below don't forget to subscribe if you're not already, and I hope to see you in the next video.